Further north, the Chatham Navy Days got underway today. It's one of the region's biggest public events, of course. All manners of ships and seafarers have arrived at the basins for the three-day spectacle. Tomorrow, the Princess Royal will be there. Our reporter on the scene, Natalie Booker. Here's why. You may be wondering why I'm dressed so elegantly. Well, when I'm not a weather person at BBC South East today, I'm an acting sub-lieutenant in the Royal Navy Reserve. That's why Chatham Navy Days is extra special to me this year, and I've got the privilege of being on board HMS Exeter. It is fantastic. Well, HMS Exeter's primary role is uh, defence. Uh, so what, what would happen when, uh, in a battle scenario, we would sit up threat from an aircraft carrier group and take out, hopefully take out incoming aircraft. The Navy quit Chatham in the 1980s, but the crowds who came today showed there's still plenty of enthusiasm here for the senior service. It's for children as young as four or five years of age, something for them to enjoy, right way up to the, the old salts, the old and bold as we call them. It's a family day out for most, but some people just have to get their hands dirty. Well, it's been a fun day here at Navy Days. It's certainly thirsty work. I'm stopping for a drink. Queen, God bless her. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Natalie Booker there, probably as you've never seen her before. Cricket now, Kent are closing in on victory in their championship match against Sussex in Tunbridge Wells. At the close, the home side were 134 for three in their second innings. Now, if you're still unsure what you want to do with your bank holiday tomorrow, here's a plug for the BBC's Music Live extravaganza. There'll be two big free music concerts at the Dane John Gardens in Canterbury. Our weather presenter Caddy Lee Preston will be hosting things with Giles Dilnett from 12 noon. Whilst at the bandstand in Eastbourne, our breakfast presenter Kerry Thompson will be holding it all together from 10. Now, the good news is the latest weather forecast suggests things might not be quite as wet as we first thought. Tomorrow looks as if it'll be mainly dry and bright. Some showers possible, though. Tuesday, dry but possibly rainy later. That's it from us. Enjoy your holiday. Bye-bye. Night for you on BBC One. What have you done? Maybe see the bedroom, Mum. I told you, that's off limits. What a word with one of your lads, Albert Moxie. It's all still to come on a Jubilee weekend. And before all that on BBC One, it's World Cup Match of the Day. If you've got digital, you can go interactive now. Press the red or text button on your remote control. Good evening, I know you've all seen it, you've probably been talking about nothing else all day, but I think it's worth seeing one more time. Coming up shortly, Paraguay versus South Africa.